Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Square Online Website Builder. So there's going to be a tutorial for beginners as well as a review of the platform itself. So before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So the first thing that we need to do here is we need to visit the Square website, which is going to be squareup.com. Com. Now, just not to confuse you here, the official website for Square is going to be Square Up, so it might get confused with Squarespace. So, Square Up and Squarespace is actually two different things, so make sure that you visit the Square Up website here to access Square. Now, in this case, once in the main UI for Square Up, we are now ready to start using the platform. Now, you might be wondering, can you actually use Square here for free? Well, when we go to the pricing page here, you should be able to see the pricing that they have. Now, in their pricing page, there are going to be a few plans that you can get here. Like, for example, the Plus here, which is going to be $29 or more monthly. So, depending on your plan, you could get more or the $29 uh, plan here. Now, they also have the Premium here, which in this case is going to be a custom plan. So, depending on what uh, features or capabilities that you want to add, uh, the price for it might vary. But the great thing about Square here or Square Up is they actually offer a free version now in this case you don't have to pay anything here besides the processing fees that they have now in this case to for you to get started here just click on the get started free button here and you should be able to see the sign up page now in this case you need to provide your email here your confirmation for your email your password and the local or the language now you also need to agree to the terms privacy policy and e-sign consent here now i would suggest you to read their privacy policies and terms here just to make sure that you know what you're currently entering now in this case once you've created your account you should be able to see the main ui or they might ask you to verify your email so in this case go visit your email and verify your email but in this case since i've already created my account i want to sign in into my account so let's go ahead and click on on sign in here and from here we just need to fill out all the necessary details here to for or for us to actually log in so that includes our email and password so let's go ahead and sign in now just to give you some information here so before you actually get to the dashboard here once you actually sign up it might ask you or score might ask you some information or question about yourself or your business here now, in this case they might ask you how do you intend to use square here any information regarding your business like for example your business name now, in this case just fill out those details here so they might also ask you for a mobile number for you to secure or further secure your account now in this case once you fill out all the necessary details you should be able to see your dashboard here now in this case what are the things that we could do here on our square up dashboard now we have our home page here which in this case should include uh, basic details or general details about our website so that includes our net sales your sales returns customers here payment types items that we have and a bit a bit more information about our website now we also have the online section here which in this case you'll be able to see uh, different information again like what i see right now now, I also have the item section, which in this case should contain all the items or overview of the items that you have right now. Now, in this case, uh, you should be able to start adding your items whenever you click on items here and just click on the side items and you should be able to see all the items that you have. Now, if you want to create a new item, just click on create new item and fill out all the necessary details here. So in this case, you need to add a, a picture for it or a media. I also have the item type, the item title, the price for it, description, invisibility, and a lot more. So we have the fulfillment here, which is the shipping, additional information, and a lot more. Now, depending on what you want to add here, like for example, variations, modifiers, you could do it via this section here. Now, what are the other things that we could actually access here? So we also have the option to access the order section here, which in this case, all the orders that you'll be receiving from your website. Now, in this case, if someone actually plays an order, this is where you'll be able to see it. So let's just wait for it to load it up. Now, also, the great thing about Square here is you also have the option to export orders if you want to. Like for example, which order do you want to export? So you have a date range here and the report type and the file type here as well. You can go ahead and choose that. But in this case, let's just go back into our uh, previous uh, panel and view the other things that we could actually do here on Square Up. Now, we also have the virtual terminal invoices, which is going to be some uh 
a type of a payment way like for example if you have a client you can send them an invoice via this section here you also have the reports here which indicates or gives you details about your website now we also have the section here for balance so in this case you should be able to see some details about your balance now in this case uh let's just wait for it to load up as you can see we have the option to enable checking so in this section this is where you you'll also be able to add your bank add some details so that you'll be able to actually uh, manage your balances now in this case you can just click on enable checking here and just follow the steps to enable checking into your uh square up account now, obviously, there's going to be a lot of things that you can view here or edit in Square Up, but in this case, you might be wondering how they actually edit your website itself. So, for you to start editing your website, you can go ahead and click on More from Square here. And from here, what we need to do is we need to access a specific section here. Now, in this case, let's just wait for it. So uh, my bad, so you need to go back here and you need to go to the online section here and it should actually load up the section for you to start editing your website. Now in this case, it's usually located at the top right of your screen. So in this case, you just need to click on edit site here and it should actually open up the editor or the website editor for your website. So let's just wait for it to load up. So this might take a few seconds to load up. So let's, in this case, let's just wait for it. Now, by default, these are going to be the section that you should be seeing here, which includes the header, main banner, email newsletter, footer, and footer branding. So now these sections are going to be uh, sections that you can actually edit. So depending on what you want to edit here, like for example, if you want to edit your main banner here, you could go ahead and click on it and you should be able to change a few things here. Now, depending on what type of section that you actually use here, you should be able to change certain aspects on it. Like for example, the layout, the section height, the full screen banner here, they explore this feature if you want to change the color style here and the background color if you want to as well. Now, once you've edited it, you could go ahead and click on done at the top right and you should be able to apply your changes. Now, if you want to add a customize or another section, you could go ahead and click on add section here and choose whatever section that you want to add. Like for example, if you want to add a scrolling text, text and image button and form, like for example, an about section or the staff list. So there's going to be a lot of things that you could do here. But in this case, just to give you an example, I'm going to use an about section here and maybe use this type of format here. And from here, click on add at the top right. Now in this case, this should be able, or this should actually add our uh, section here. Now in this case, whenever you go to the center here, you should be able to change certain aspect lines. Like for example, the text itself, you should be able to say, like for example, there's going to be a test. You can even uh, double click or highlight the section here and change the text as you would. Like for example, uh, this is a sample text. Now, if you want to change the image, go ahead and click on the image section and you should be able to click on the add image. Now, in this case, maybe I want to add a section here. So let's just upload a sample image here. Let's just choose this one. And from here, click on done at the top right once it's actually uploaded. And you should be able to see the image now added in here. Now, sometimes it will not upload itself. So you need to click on add image again and make sure that you actually choose this image and click on done. And that should actually upload that image. Now, in this case, there's still a lot of things that you could do here. So you could choose the image caption. You could even describe the image here and the title. If you want to add an all caps on it, you could go ahead and do that. Even choose the style here. Like for example, there's going to be the section here, the paragraph one, choose the style for the title itself. So it's, uh, by default, it's going to be title two. And we also have the buttons here. If you want to include a button, you could go ahead and enable that and uh, customize the button itself. So if you want to add a link on it, the style, the color, and a lot more. Now, in this case, once you've done or once you've satisfied what you've added here, just click on the done at the top right again, and that should apply your changes. Now, if you're wondering how they access other pages they have here, well, you just need to click at the top section here and you have the home. Now, in this case, you have your standard pages here. We have test, gallery, and contact us. Now, if you want to add a new page or create your own page, just click on add page here and you'll be able to start creating your own page. In this case, you just need to choose the option that actually uh, best describes your page. So you have the uh, staff here, the Instagram page, a shop page, appointments, and or use the blank page here, which in this case, a sample or a blank page that you could uh, basically edit yourself. Now, in this case, if you choose that, you need to add a page name here. 
But from here, you just need to follow the steps for you to create your page and you should be able to create yours and start editing it. Now, same thing, you need to add your sections here and customize it. Now, once you're done, you could go ahead and click on preview or publish. Now, in this case, if you publish this one, this would actually uh, start publishing your website and people can now start visiting your website. Now, you need to uh, use a, a square domain here, but if you need to use or if you want to use a custom domain, you need to search for yours here and be a pay for your custom domain. But in this case, that's the beginner tutorial for Square here, and that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.